Hey guys, in the last update, update 2.35 in designer, we received a brand new shape tool for making spiral shapes. And the community is kind of divided. There are some people that have been waiting for this and thank you, we got the spiral tool out finally. And some people are like, what should I do with this shape, right? It's a very unique shape, so how can we use it in our daily workflow? One example is right here. If you ever need a shell-like shape, that would be your first choice. You don't need to do it manually anymore with pen tool. You can just grab a spiral tool and adjust that to your needs. So let me just delete the color I put behind it and check how this tool can be controlled with the tool panel above. Take a look, I picked the style called declining. So let's move back to the default one, the linear one. In this style, the distances between different rings are the same. Take a look, I can add more rings so we can see it. Take a look, the distances are same, but if I change to declining, they will be smaller and smaller to the center. So that's one way we can control this tool and adjust it for our needs. The another mode, we'll try to round it up. It's very similar to the default one, but it's a bit different, especially here at the center. Again, there's one more that will go all the way around. And as you can see, now we got kind of ending and beginning of this whole thing on both sides. We can go for Fibonacci style and this one give, will give us like the golden ratio. So you may be already familiar with that. If you got the rectangle like that and then you put a two smaller rectangles that exactly half of the height of that and then you put, again, a smaller rectangle and smaller one, you will end up with this golden proportion of the Fibonacci proportion. And that's what we can exactly do with this tool. We can very quickly end up having this spiral in the right ratio. All right, so that's really nice. I think this can be used as a guidance, as some kind of template while working with other design, even if you plan to delete it at the very end. All right, what else do we have? There's one more mode. And as you can see, this one, this one got like the straight sections. It's not really rounded. We got very straight sections, multiple straight sections that will create a spiral as well. Keep in mind, this tool can be combined with lines. And then if you got the line, you will be able, let's make some copies so we got more lines. With the line like that, you should be able to use another tool, for example, a fill tool to color some of those areas very quickly, right? So keep in mind, the spiral tool do not exist in vacuum. It's just a next tool added to our tool set. So we can mix it with different tools. And by the way, I end up with a decent spider web really quickly, right? Just by using this, this spiral tool with the segmenting mode. So as you can see, it's just one of the tools. Take a look, there are so many shape tools and very rarely we use them as standalone shapes. So like with any other shape tool, we plan to mix this with other tools. 
but what if we put a fill color in it? Take a look, the result is quite unique. Because of the nature of the shape is open by default, the fill color will be jumping like that because the two give us open shape by default. So if you need a full color, you will need to create additional shape like this oval in the backdrop. And then you can adjust that to cover the areas that you need. Keep in mind, you may need to make some changes using the node tool. This way you can fill this area here. And that will be kind of the easiest way to have the full fill behind the spiral. So we got the separate color behind the spiral without without filling the spiral of the car itself because as you can see the result is rather different here. Keep in mind we can check this to be counter or clock counter wise and there's also this segment mode like that we we'll make it more like a rectangle and again this segment mode will work with different styles so it can be declining styles the one we used before semicircular counter fibonacci and plotted so we got different styles in addition we can set up this to be a rounded one or segmented one and we can flip it should be clockwise or anti-clockwise we can adjust that of course you can decide how many turns using the slider over here i'm quite surprised that they didn't give us those orange control points that we can drag directly on the shape but the slider will do as well there is adjustment for the angle at the center there's also arc angle adjustment separately so we can mix it to be really abstractive like that and this inner radius so that's the center this will be way larger if we move the slider to the right as you can see they gave us multiple controls so we can generate a spiral exactly as we need so that's nice but if you need even deeper customization you can always convert to curves and then using the node tool you can modify certain nodes to achieve the effect you need what if i click add and try to unify this shape by default the shape will try to close itself so as you can see we got this additional line here that's not usually what we want we don't want this cross line through the shape so if you want to close the shape you will need to try to do it manually one way of closing the spiral is to simply create the spiral without a fill color let me show you so made it without fill color just like this one keep in mind my stroke got some pressure at the center but we can reset that okay so if you got shape like this and you want to have a close shape we can simply turn the stroke into a shape itself so we head to layers and expand stroke and now our stroke became a shape we got a close shape it's not a stroke anymore take a look if you zoom in you will see that now we got two points so we got two walls in and out wall and it's nice close shape all right so that's how you can use a spiral tool keep in mind you will probably need to mix it with other tools whenever you need a spiral like shape now we got a dedicated tool for that so that's always a nice addition thank you for today by the way don't forget to check my 
premium classes on Udemy. I will drop a link in the description and like always I will put the code for my YouTube followers to get the best discount directly on Udemy. Check my premium classes and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!